came here to celebrate the Christmas party with my uh, university last Christmas and I really enjoy it so I don't know we're just having a good time here so I uh, hope you guys are having a great day or hope you guys had a great day whatever it is that you guys watch this so. we just we decided not to go and eat out because we just thought let's just go back home and have food with our parents I posted a few videos on my Instagram stories and they are asking this top is from Shein it's a kind of like I guess you can call it crop top um, thesis writing is so it's one of those things that make you feel like you need to do it all the time and if you don't do it you feel so guilty because you're not doing it and you feel like you're gonna fail <laughs> but I just thought I'd show you the room from my hotel so this is what it looks like there's an amazing view over there um, and the sunset's gorgeous and then it's like offices and there's people in there actually and yeah off to dinner and I am wearing a kind of like I don't know how kind of pattern it is um, with these white wide legged trousers, a black waistcoat and yeah, that's what I'm pretty much doing tonight Good morning everybody I don't know if my lens is clean I mean dirty or if it's just the sunlight of course you guys know that I went to Paris you would have seen it in the last clip I was there from Wednesday till Friday I had a collaborators meeting um, on Thursday and Friday and I had to present my work and kind of update everyone on what I've been getting up to so that was the point of that sorry I did not vlog at all I just did a tiny little bit here and there when we were kind of walking around on the first day you know data is quite sensitive um i just wanted to enjoy myself and not have to my voice is so <clears throat> off i just wanted to enjoy myself and not have to think too much about taking my camera out this and other so for most days i just left in the hotel to be honest i'm on my way to teaching at the brilliance club which was that teaching thing that i told you that i do um so this is like the third one out of five so we've got one today one on thursday and then the last one's next week so then I'll be done with that forever <laughs> um, really enjoyed myself doing it I really highly recommend it for anyone who is a PhD student and wants to do something extra in their spare time why is it so dark? alright so yeah and then after I finish the brilliant club I'm gonna go to university to get some more writing done my supervisor gave me back my first draft of my thesis and he said it's really good he said it's really good but he said there's a few things that I need to edit out basically I talk too much surprise surprise Amina surprise surprise <laughs> I talk too much is what he said um, and I repeat myself quite a lot so he said you don't need to repeat yourself as much as you do so I just need to take those things out so thank god it's good he said it's really good actually exact words were really good <laughs> so I'm really happy about that um, so I'm gonna go to the university library and just sit down and write because I find that I'm way more productive doing that than sitting at home and just wasting time something and I can just get that done as opposed to being at home and just having like the whole day unlimited time to do things and just not getting anything done this is my first draft and he's written lots of comments as you can see all down the sides here um, he's written lots and lots of comments and lots of corrections um, so yeah I've got lots of lots to do I only have a month left to submit my thesis in July the 4th I have until August the 1st basically I just have one month oh my god it's so exciting I feel like this time has just flown so fast 
and I just haven't seen it at all but I'm gonna meet up with a friend in Central so I should be out and about in the afternoon I'm wearing this yellow cardigan with this navy skirt so I got really bored in the la in the library. I was literally falling asleep. So I had to change location, and I've come to Paper Chase on Tottenham Court Road. And it has like a little cafe like this. So I figured that this would be a better location to do some work because I'm just feeling so tired. My laptop here. Gonna, yeah. See how much I can get done here. But today is actually I don't know what day it is and I'm gonna try but today is another day in the week and I'm off to I've done a bit of teaching so far and now I'm off to go to university guys I cannot deal with the London underground when it's so look at how sweaty I am I just cannot deal with the London underground when it's so hot hey guys so I made it to uni I've got my laptop I've got my sweaty self I'm just an absolute um, absolute mess today it's so hot like I'm wearing black who wears I don't even wear black in winter let alone in summer I don't know what I'm doing <sighs> save me someone save me Today is the day after yesterday. For all it, for any of you guys that are vloggers, you know you guys will relate. There'll be no one, there'll be no cars, no traffic at all. Then as soon as you pick up the camera, literally I press record and someone wants to park right here and just stare at me while I'm recording. I'm just like, this is so awkward. Three weeks left now, just under three weeks actually. Well no, I have like 20 24-ish days, so I do have you know some things to do. And it's exciting, and I'm the, the, the end is near. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm home now, so I shall speak to you guys a bit later on. I'm boiling as well. I hate this weather. Try this scan as you shop thing. I'm pretty sure you have to do that. Hang on. Look, you scan it, and then you. Sh I don't know how, how does it work. I don't know how it works. You then take it. Guys, you've got a scan as you shop. And we're going to scan as you shop. Beep! Who knows about this Caribbean style bread? The hard dough bread. Or the, what's that one? Turn it around? What's that one called? Spice bun. This is so good. With like, what do we have it with? I don't know. Don't even have it with. This is really, really good. Spice it's itself. itself. It's oh, so good. So sweet. Ethiopian coffee. Where was it from? Where in Ethiopia was it from? Doesn't say. And there's also Kenyan coffee as well. Kenyan. There's also Tesco that we don't usually come to. It's really big. Um, and we're just like walking around, not knowing what to get and getting things that we don't need. This is how you know you live in a Muslim area. <laughs> they are so funny. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So, today's a new day. Yes, I know, I'm wearing the exact same thing. Today I'm going to King's College London. It is a conference um, about sort of education um, and sort of different aspects of education. So, so for example, there is a panel session about gypsy travellers um, and how when they're students in schools, the kind of barriers that they could face um, in schools which maybe may inhibit their attainment, um, it may inhibit their education. I realise that a lot of you guys want advice from me or want me to be more advisory. I thought I would quickly talk about organisation, making sure that you're organised, especially when it comes to, for example, like writing coursework or thesis or like final assignments, things like that, presentations. Make sure you don't leave things to the last minute. If you know you have a month left, start it now. At least plan it. At least put something down on paper. Don't just leave it to the last minute because you are setting yourself up for failure if you do that. Make sure that you, you know, have a plan. If you're working with other people, get together with them, collaborate with them. Um, 
don't leave things to the last minute. Leaving things to the last minute is, is, is a trait of the most unorganized person and it does not lead to success and it leads to stress and worry when it's unnecessary and it's not, it's not needed. So that was my sort of little tip. Maybe I'll do a little thing, little tip a day from now on. Maybe what I'll do is every single day I'll do a little tip of the day or like some sort of help uh, segment. Um, so if you have any questions, do feel free to ask me and I'll include them in that little session. At least then I can feel like you guys have good benefits or something and not just watch me go about my life. Also, I'm walking on the main road with this camera and I feel a bit... Do you not want to know what my dumb ass did? Well, basically, the conference starts at 9.30 and it's currently 8 o'clock. I'm here now. Oh my gosh. I'm just... I'm just so annoyed with myself. How can I allow this to happen? Amina! Guys, this is what happens when you thesis write. Your brain just get Like, I've made so many of these mistakes in the past, like, month. So, I'm at this beautiful spot. It's called Hayes Galleria, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't look that great right now, actually, but in the uh, winter, like, during Christmas, they have the most amazing Christmas tree, and they have the most amazing decorations as well. So, it's really pretty, and I really like sort of coming here when I come to London Bridge. So there's this little film screening little area over here right next to the mayor's office and Tower Bridge is on that side and you can come here and you can watch um, sports events live you can also I think they have different film screenings and all sorts of things so that's a pretty cool option to do and then right over here next to it you have this sort of food alfresco dining kind of area where you have a bar um, with drinks, food on the other side and just live music. It's really lively during the day and I highly recommend it. So.